Hello everyone. Today I've got a quick share. I've made some travel journals for my kids um, for a road trip, basically. So I'm going to start with this one. And the cover is two pieces of cardstock stitched together. And I made out of this little uh, stretchy... I don't even know what it's made out of. Band. I made a little closure and made a loop here to make uh, a pin loop. And I just put this pen in here, for example. That might not be the one that goes. So these little stretchy bands came in like a bracelet kit a long time ago. But uh, they've been all over the place. So I've been using them for... They work great for holding this size journal. Um, let me see if I can snatch a ruler here. Pause. The there we go. Of course, the camera is in the way of my desk drawer. Sorry about that. See, this it measures about five, and if I would have remembered, I think I could have remembered that. I think it's five by seven. Yeah, five by seven. The pages are slightly smaller. It's a three hole pamphlet stitch that I've used a cotton twine in. So, I also stitched. So there's two pieces of cardstock here, and then I took a third piece of cardstock, sorry, cardstock, and stitched it on the front to make a pocket here. And then I put a little sticker here. In this pocket, I've got some extra stickers, and then some printables from the internet that I printed at about 50%, and just stapled them together. They're just different road games, bingo, and the license plate game. There's even a hangman, and I'm just going to set this here instead of trying to put it back in there. So this right here is a pocket, and for this child, uh, they requested bunnies, because she's a real big fan of bunnies right now. So I've printed out some coloring pages from the internet, and I printed them also at about 50% so that I could fit them in here, because this is a small journal. So this is a pocket here. And this side is just drawing, kids' drawing paper that I glued together to make that pocket. And then this was a die cut. So I've used a lot of scraps in here of my scraps. And this was a die cut that I don't even remember what it was for or where I got it. I think I might have got this in a pack at, a, at the thrift store. And I have folded it in half and used it as a little flip open. It's not a tuck spot. And then this little epoxy sticker is just holding it closed. Nice ice cream paper clip. And this little envelope is from Daiso, the Japanese dollar store. And I made a tag. This is has a fold in it. But I made an extra tag there. And then I put some of these. These little puffy stickers are from Close to My Heart. I just put them in throughout this coloring book page. I used some of those, and this came out of like one of those coloring book magazines. These are bookmarks that, actually I think it was from a coloring book. You can color, and so those are in there. Another little bunny printable. And then this is another envelope from Daiso. And the this tuck spot here uh, was an embellishment for like a, a treat sack. It came with four envelopes and then these and a clothespin. I think I got those at Tuesday morning. And I don't plan to use them as treat sacks. I plan to use them in journals and such. So I use this one here. And there's another coloring page. Another coloring page that I took washi to tip in here. This was a printable from Tsunami Rose that had printed out wrong. So I've uh, glued some drawing paper on the back and made it into a pocket. Up here is the pocket part. And I there's some scrap die cuts there. This little washi page, I figured they can, you know, either peel it off and move it, but I tried to put a bunch of, of all the little washies that I had that you could maybe make a scene out of. So that's what that is. Here's some lined notebook paper. Again, these were scraps from a baby book I made a long time ago, and I had kept them. And I've had them ever since, so I put them on there. Here's another little cute envelope from Daiso, and it has a little notebook paper in there of the panda bears. Another scrap tag, more coloring book paper. This envelope also is from Daiso, and so it has an opening 
that I've made here. I can't get it open. And then it opens this side as well. In the center of this signature, I have some scrap uh, punches of butterflies and these two flowers that were also a scrap. More coloring paper. This is from a coloring book. Another envelope from Daiso. Kitty cats, and inside there's the kitty cats. They're very cute. These were a scrap from a paper pad that had a bunch of punch out flowers. And then that's mm, scrap from somewhere. Another one of these, oh, there's two of them from a coloring book. Something they can do. Oh, we'll just stay there. That's a post it. And this coloring book page is backed onto some cardstock and tucked in here. And this little belly band is also, well, it's a tuck spot there, and then a secret little journaling spot, and I just used this tiny bird punch to hold it closed. And then this is also a pocket up here. That's the other side of that. This flips out. Another uh, coloring book page backed onto some cardstock, just because the printer paper is really thin, and then it might be easier to color if it doesn't get all crinkled up since it's going to be in the car that this is going to be used. So another scrap of tag and another bunny. This one I just glued onto a second piece of printer paper just to give it some more weight. And oh another cute bunny. And then there's an, that last die cut there, the little heart. This little piece of paper came from Daiso also, and it folds up like this. I've glued it on, uh, on this edge and this edge here, so you can tuck behind, you see, it's a tuck spot, but it's also got hidden journaling there. And then the last page there, and here's another printout, which this is a paper fastener, aka Brad, and this is backed onto cardstock there. And that's the other side of the this piece of cardstock. I I just cut it at an angle, and so it's all one piece. It's not two pieces. And what holds the center in obviously is the stitching that the book is. So, nope, that's it for that one. Let me toss this aside. See if I can do this one quicker. This is the other one. Here's another pan on there, and. This one, oh, and the first one, the theme you might have noticed was pink, because she really likes pink. And uh, this one uh, is a little more colorful, not all pink. So, and these were their their um, card stocks that I had given to them. So here's a sticker, same, same printables here for games and the same stickers. And she had requested cat, dolphin, and bunnies. So I put a little bit of, of that. So here's kitty cat. Another, this one is another one of those tags that opens up and has a fold. Coloring book page, this flips out. Some kitty cats that can be colored. This also is one of those flip open. This is a piece of tracing paper that I pulled out of their stash and it has been colored on a bit. Hopefully I don't mind. Same here, this is some kind of painting paper and it has some marks on it, but you know, this is a junk journal, so that's the way it is. And then this I've left open a little bit right at the wing, so it can kind of be used as a tuck spot. The other washi page, which I tried to include all of the same pieces of washi so that I don't have any arguments in the car. There's the dolphin, I only put one in here. This is the same kitty paper, and I think I did also, yep, just left it open a tiny bit for able to tuck things in there. This is that same Daiso envelope, and if I didn't glue it, it's wanting to almost be glued. I used the epoxy sticker as a closure. Inside is the same little kitty paper. And this one is also a tuck spot. I've left the whole back open. So, some lined paper. Another ice cream clip and that cute little tiny envelope from Daiso. More coloring book page and these are the bookmarks. This is similar to the other one in that it's a belly band that opens up. And 
This is some washi I stuck in here that can be colored. And then this envelope was food coloring dyed on a grill pan that has holes dried on. Um, and that's how I got that color and those dots. I have a punch that does this edge here. And I had just punched some scrap paper to get that look. Here's the other card from Daiso. It's like a glassine um, uh, envelope, and then it's got just this little paper inside. Kind of hard to manipulate. This was from the coloring book. To go back in there. Oh, nothing wants to go back. And that took so much time. Here's the bunny. I think I only put one bunny in hers, and that's backed on cardstock. And this must just be some extra coloring book page. And that was a scrap from the bird that I had used to close. And the center uh, strings here, these are just stickers. And I think they came from this, whatever, this set of cards. And so it's two different cat heads, but they matched. And then the two paws are the same. Garfield, he's a cat, so I put him on here. And then this is the coloring book page, and then the envelope from Daiso. Ah. And then that's blank to color on and draw. Here is another one of those punch outs from that pad of flowers. Another sticker here. And this is, let's see, I think, yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't have a lot of space, but something can be tucked there. And here is the, the other. I used this as a tuck, but I only left this little corner open. This is from that set of treat bags. There, I bought two sets, and one had kind of this theme, and the other had the paint was more pink. Put the paw there, the sticker, and the cat there. So this was tracing paper that already had a little bit of drawing on it, but you know, I figured that's just it's. The page is broken. One page. Now she also wanted crossword puzzles. So I printed these out and yes, that is tiny, but my children are young and can see this without a mic my, my, uh, magnifying glass. Is that right? Magnifying glass? Yeah. Just barely. And it's pretty small, but it needed to fit in here. So hopefully it'll work. <laughs> that one I'm not so sure about. But And another kitty cat. And he's backed onto cardstock. And here's the answer key to those crosswords. I put it in the back so that it won't be as easy to cheat. Oh, something's... Yeah. And this one also, I had done the two pieces of cardstock stitched together. And the only difference on this one is that I trimmed it a little lower. So the pocket's a little lower than the other one. And finally, the third one here is for my son. And he doesn't care about junk journals, really. But I wanted, I printed out the same uh, road games, the bingo, or there wasn't bingo, but there was uh, the license plate game and certain things for him also, because I think he'd want to play it. But then I was like, well, where may I put it? So I just made this real quick out of cardstock. Uh, this is green, and then it's a three-hole pamphlet stitch. He loves chess. So in here I've included some images of chess. He's not going to color them, but he likes to look at them. And then this is a printout of a, some game, and it's not really my area of expertise, so I'm not even going to try to explain that. I made this envelope out of extra scrap paper, of printer paper, and then I cut out these are the chess pieces, and oh come on, cooperate here. They kind of stand up because I left a little fold on them. And so there's just, you know, there's only six different types of chess pieces. I don't really know what he's going to do with this, but I think he'll like it just because it's chess. And so I tucked that in there as kind of a little surprise goodie. And then for the games that I printed out, these, most of them were printed out at 50% also. I just folded the paper in half twice and then stitched it in here. So, and I didn't even glue it together, so there's kind of room that if he wants to use it as a pocket, he can, or stuff things in there, or draw or take notes on this side, because this one's blank, so. And then I stuck some, that's the hangman one, and then these are blank. 
and he can just write in it, whatever he wants to do. The, these were the two that, this one I think printed out at 60%, so it was a little bit bigger, and oh, I must have backed it onto a piece of paper because it's a little bit thicker. And then this one I printed out at 100% before I had decided what I was going to do, and so I folded it up. And that is that. Hopefully this video is not too long, but I thought I'd share it with you because it was just a quick thing that I did and I haven't shown that much this summer. It was supposed to be really quick, but then these two actually ended up taking me, you know, a day or two. This one was just an hour or so and I was done with it. But I have trouble just, le you know, I had to, these were going to be real simple and they were going to decorate them themselves, but then... I thought, oh, they'd love it if I did some nice decorating, and it was one thing after another, and yeah, that's kind of how I roll. So, I hope you enjoy this share, and I hope it inspires you. Maybe there's a kid in your life who's going to be trapped in the car with you for some time, and you want to whip up a cute, simple little journal, even if it's just plain paper. They love it, and they can turn it into a masterpiece. So, thanks for letting me share. Have a wonderful and creative day. Bye!